Hawaii Foundation was started to preserve and perpetuate Native Hawaiian cultural traditions for future generations. And one of our really big programs is MAMO, Maoli Arts Movement. When you look at Mary Monarch, for instance, and you watch the chanters come up and how they're dressed, they're inspired by some story. The way they dress their dancers, those are all, for me, wearable art. It's what we wear. So I thought that we should do a Mamo wearable art show that would showcase the best of traditional cultural practices and contemporary visual arts. I'm excited about Kavi Kalam. His medium was feather lay making, and then he started making a feather cloak. And I was like, you know, you need to be in our fashion show. My theme for this year's Momo Fashion Show is to bring awareness to endangered birds and birds that we have now that are suffering. We do not use native birds. Instead, we use birds that are available. Um, goose feathers, chicken feathers, pheasants. Trying to adapt the cultural practice to modern times can be tricky because really you represent all of your kumu and all of your ancestors every time you do something like this. So as a participant in MAMO, um, it lets us reach out to other cultural practitioners and other artists and we do a lot of collaborations that way. Another one of my favorite artists is Kehaulani Nielsen, a more contemporary artist. Her background is hula, so the plants that she uses in hula were her inspiration for some of the print. One of our favorite prints is the lehua print that we do. The actual name of it is Hopoi Lehua Opuna. And that name was given to my daughter, Kahulalea, that's her middle name from my kumu, and it translates to the shapely lehua blossom of Puna. Mamo has been incredibly instrumental. I mean, I always credit them. Every year for hula, you'll have like a ho'iki where you can come and show your family and friends all the hard work you've done for the year. And here is a, this wonderful event that we're invited to and we can showcase the hard work that we've done. And what's most important is like the collaborations that come to be because of Mamo. I think initially there's always been a little bit of tension between the tourist industry and traditional Hawaiian cultural practices. With the support of the Hawaii Tourism Authority, we can tell the story about Hawaii. It's not just the sand and the sea and the trade winds and the beautiful oceans, but it is the culture, not just the Hawaiian culture, all the cultures that make up Hawaii. When we think about aloha spirit, if you embody those principles and values that we have perpetuated for generations, the spirit of aloha, of love, of malama aina, caring for our land and our natural resources, if we can share that and benefit from all of that, then we have something to offer to the rest of the world. <laughs>